I'm Dr. Angela Caffrey and I'm a gynecologic oncologist. Uh, my training encompasses a four-year residency in obstetrics and gynecology followed by a three-year fellowship uh, with a subspecialty in treating women with reproductive tract malignancies. I went to medical school in Seattle at the University of Washington and uh, moved to California and trained here at Loma Linda for my residency for four years um, followed by a subspecialty fellowship which was three years in Los Angeles at the University of Southern California and the Norris Cancer Center. The majority of the women that I see are referred for um, the most common types of cancer. The most common uh, reproductive tract cancer is uterine or endometrial cancer, um, and then followed by ovarian and cervical cancers. There are a few other more rare types that we'll treat, um, one of which is gestational trophoblastic disease, um, which is a fairly rare type of cancer, uh, and also vaginal and vulvar malignancies as well. What first attracted me to robotic surgery was that uh, I think there are significant uh, ergonomic and safety advantages that laparoscopy doesn't provide. And I had worked um, using laparoscopic equipment for five years previous to learning uh, how to use the robotic equipment. And the difference in the learning curve and the difference in safety and the difference in the magnification and three-dimensional vision, it certainly was immediately apparent that I could expand uh, the types of patients and the types of cancers that we could operate on safely and effectively with smaller incisions um, from the very first patient. There are several important things for patients to know in seeking out cancer care. Uh, women who have gynecologic malignancies, unfortunately, in over half of cases uh, in the United States, women are not treated by a specialist. And we have data to show that for both uterine and ovarian cancer, the outcome for the patient is better when treated by a subspecialist. So I would encourage patients to be their own best advocate, to inform themselves, and to ask for consultation with a subspecialist when they are diagnosed with a gynecologic malignancy. I think the most important thing is finding a physician that you trust because there are so many steps in the care of patients with cancer that can't be known until we're actually there taking them. and. Um, a patient needs to feel comfortable that the physician that she has chosen has her best interest in mind. I speak to patients regularly about the fact that if they're not getting the kinds of care they need or the referral to the subspecialist that they need to um, be informing themselves because when you find out that you can have a better outcome in treatment with a subspecialist, I think each woman would want that for herself.